guys, Tansy Customs here, back with another video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my, well actually this is for a contest for the Noble Artists, um, uh, Mandalorian contest for 2020, he is, yeah, so, I wanted to enter it because I saw his videos, and, I mean like, I thought that to myself, I could do customize that, so, I tried, and then I worked on this, so, without further ado, let's get into this, so, Let's take her gun out of her hand, because this is a girl Mandalorian, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah. This is the weapon. Not that, um, complex, but I just put something together. Like, glued some parts together, and that's basically the weapons. Yeah, like I said, it's not that complex. It's just a simple weapon. So, I the figure. So... First off, we let's start at the back. We, well, actually, let's start at the helmet up top. So on the helmet, we have this cut down. Um, God, what is it called? I'm not blinking out, but it's like a vi oh yeah, visor. Okay, we have this blinged out visor right here. I think that's what it's called. I'm not sure, but yeah, we have that um, visor right there, which I cut down on the sides. And yeah, so on the helmet too, I went for my color scheme scheme to be like dark tan like basically just any random color like red i thought it, i think it all looks good together like these tan colors like red and dark tan i thought that all looked good together so i'm like that looks good i'm not gonna paint that so <laughs> yeah that's that um so moving on to the face i have this little part right here this is like from a model kit like a car or something which was left over so i just glued on there because i thought it looked like a bionic eye it's not so straight, but it, it, it works. So, yeah, that's that. And on this top, I have this, like, fin that goes down. Well, not really fin. Like, if the helmet and show you guys. Focus. Focus. It's not gonna focus. Well, that sucks. Let's focus on the figure again. Focus. Come on. Don't focus on the background. Focus on the thing that's in front of you. Oof. I hate focusing. Okay, there we go. Um, so, yeah, that's basically it for the helmet. Now let's move down to the torso. So, in the torso, let's start up high. With this, like, bandolier and this pauldron glued on top of it. So, you guys can kind of see that right there, that pauldron right there. And, yeah, so, then I have this bandolier, which, again, I kept it in, like, um, dark tan color because I thought that looked really good. So, yeah, I... Also put some toothpicks on there. Actually, I used the same toothpick as I'm using to point right now. So, yeah. So, I just put some toothpicks on there because I thought it looked like old pouches like I always do on my customs. So, that's that. So, now let's move to the arms, which I usually never do in my videos. But, this one I glued a piece of metal on and then I got a range finder and I glued it on. Because I thought that looked kind of like a, what, a Mandalorian weapon, whatever they're called, that they put on the sides. So, yeah, I thought that looked good. And on this side, I have just this nice plain silver shoulder pad because it matches the weapon and this jetpack and all the other silver parts. I just kept that plain silver because I kind of like it like that and it just matches. And then this is another piece from a model kit, which is like a another car or something. I can't really tell you the name of that part, but it's from a model kit. That's all I know. So... Yeah, let's move down to the, I mean, let's move to the back. On the back, we have that same, um, strap going behind this jetpack, actually. I just used two lightsaber hilts, which, from, they're t from, like, two blue lightsabers. Ah, my camera just fell. Ah, well, whatever. Um, so I used these two lightsaber hilts, which I thought they worked pretty well as a jetpack. Not that more, not that detailed, um, of a jetpack, but I thought it worked, so, yeah. And then I used the legs, I glued some fabric on all the way around. Oh, by the way, a lot of these techniques I used on this um, Mandalorian are from the Noble Artist. So, yeah, they are from the Noble Artist, so yeah, good sub to him. He's a really good um, content creator, so yeah, a lot of these techniques are from him. So basically I just cut out some fabric, glued it on, um, I actually cut out circles like this, I just trimmed them down to get this knee pad, so... That's an easy way to get some good knee pads, so, yeah, um, for the feet, I just glued, I 
cut another one of these from like a hole punch. I cut it in half, put it on each boot, which I thought looked really good. So yeah, that is about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this and yeah, um, I hope I won this contest. So yeah. Oh, yeah, by the way, again, go subscribe to the Noble Artist. He makes really good customs and yeah, see you guys later.